Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new Summer in the City vlog. Today we're celebrating one of my really good friend's birthdays and we are going to a rooftop pool, which I've actually never done in my four years of being here. So I'm really excited. We're going to Hotel Van Zandt, but before that, we definitely need some fuel in our systems, probably some carbs, and I definitely need to hydrate because we will be drinking today. Um, so we're gonna go get breakfast somewhere. I always forget to show you guys my outfit. So this is what I'm wearing for breakfast today. We got my Goren Bros hat, Skims tank, these shorts are from Set Active. They're like super thick and kind of chunky. And then we're wearing my fuzzy Burks to match my fuzzy teddy hat. We're getting hyped for tonight because I'm hoping to see Tate McRae. I'll tell you guys about that later though. I feel like we rarely try new breakfast places. So I'm forcing Ryan to get out of our comfort zone and we're gonna try this new place. It's called Goldie's and it's at like this, um, I don't even know what this place is called, but basically they have like a lot of like mini food trucks and it's just all in one place. Lucky day they were handing out free cookie rich cookies right over here because it's Goldie's and Cookie Rich. Taste test. Cookie dough. It's like cookie dough. I got red velvet. The wait was a little longer than we would have liked, but hopefully the food makes up for it. I got a hash brown avocado toast, and then Ryan got this like ham and cheese roll. Do you like the coffee? got like a cookie milk coffee and I got a cookie milk chai. Ryan just stopped to put gas in my car, but it is crazy how expensive food is here. And I feel like now that we've been here for so many years, it's just kind of normal to us. It's like that lifestyle creep. But anytime we go home back to Georgia or where else? were we that we were like oh my god how is that so cheap when we just went back home to georgia we got like four pastries and it was like maybe 15 dollars and then today we got two like coffees or whatever one chai one coffee um one kind of pastry thing i got like a little avocado toast but it's it wasn't like this massive avocado toast i think the total came out to be 35 dollars for all of that i would actually go back and i really liked their chai um but just <laughs> What in the world are prices these days? But anyways, I just went to the Dollar General to get a um, birthday bag for my friend's present. I got her really cute cocktail glasses because she loves her espresso martinis. So they're like martini glasses. They're like this iridescent thing. I don't want to like unbox it and show you guys because obviously I'm giving it to her as a gift and I don't want it to be like opened. And then um, I also got her this really cool like tequila cocktail book. So I hope she likes it. I really try to like customize gifts to my friends and like what they like. I feel like that's how all presents should be. Usually some people just get gift cards or just like candles, which is obviously still appreciated. But I'm excited to give her that. And then also after the pool, there's this free concert hosted by Coca-Cola and freaking Tate McRae is gonna be there and the Chainsmokers, which honestly I'm more excited to see Tate McRae because I love her. We saw her at ACL and I think the only song I knew at that time was the You Broke Me First song. And then when Ryan left me for six months, well, he just moved back home to save money. But when he went back home, I was like in my emo girl era for no freaking reason at all. And so I would like literally play her songs all the freaking time on our Google Home. So I know a lot of her songs, so it'll be really fun. And you know what's funny? Ryan went to, what did you go to? iHeartRadio Christmas thingy? Oh, uh, yeah. What was that? Uh, like that. And he saw Tate McRae without me. So he's seen her twice now, and today will be his third freaking time. So I'm jealous, but <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chain smokers are also gonna be there, and that's who all my friends are excited to see. But the issue is, we all just got standby tickets. I don't even think they like sold tickets for this. So we're not really sure how long the line's gonna be. And also it's really hot out, so I don't even know like if we'll be able to stand outside for that long because we're gonna be drinking at the pool 
and so we may go and we may not go but I'm really really hoping that we do and I'm really hoping that it'll be easy to get in but I'll definitely update you guys later on this has quickly become my favorite swimsuit right now it's from Amazon and it's just so flattering it's actually a one piece but it has this like huge cutout near the stomach and I just love how it looks on me and then this skirt is actually from Amazon too my straw hat is from lack of color and we're ready to go tomorrow and I think it's heated so I was like I'm gonna get sweaty at the bars tonight I'm gonna get sweaty at my class tomorrow so I'll wash my hair tomorrow but I just took a body shower and now we're hoping to get in the concert I think we're gonna go see how long the line is see you know just how it all works this is their first year doing this and I'm really trying to manifest us getting into this concert so I'll keep you guys updated guys there's no freaking line I'm shocked I'm shocked I'm so excited, let's go. I was really thirsty, so I brought a Topo Chico with me. And I was like, can I bring this in because it's sealed? And they were like, is it owned by Coca-Cola? I was like, I wouldn't know. Like, is it? <laughs> they are like, oh yeah, you can bring it in. I was like, heck yes. I'm still so shocked that there's absolutely no wine. And now I'm sad that my friends aren't here. <laughs> Cycling our bottles so we can get some merch. We got free frozen cokes and McDonald's French fries. We really wanted a t shirt and found out that you had to have five tickets for a t shirt. So I literally went into the crowd and like asked someone for their water bottle so we could recycle it. And we got it. Yay! I'm so excited. And I got it to myself for a sleep shirt. I totally forgot to close out this vlog. I'm so freaking happy that we went to the Coca-Cola concert. Like you saw, there was literally no line and it was just the best time. I got to see Tate McRae for the second time, like I said, and I was so happy. And I knew so many songs this time, so it was like obviously way more fun. I do wish all of our friends came, but it was like a long day and we 
like literally didn't know if there was gonna be a line and a lot of them just didn't wanna like chance it. So they just like headed straight to the bars, but it was still a really cool thing. And I wanted to shout out like where I heard about that because there are so many free things to do in Austin, honestly, like there's something to do every freaking day. And um, I wanted to share with you guys like some of my favorite Instagram pages to find out about all the cool things happening around the city. Number one, it's my Bible. I feel like they post about everything and they did post about this coca-cola event is when we're wet austin you may know them from like the blue squares it's like such a simple page but just like filled with so much info they post free events they post you know just random events that you might have to pay for um happy hour deals it is just my go-to page when i need something to do next up i love shelby sorrell's page it's actually more of a foodie instagram but i love her edits number one and then also number two she's just like goes to the newest and best spots in Austin. So we definitely find out about a lot of restaurants from her. Another one is 365 Things Austin. This one just kind of posts about it all, a lot of food, a lot of just like events happening around the city. I mean, all these pages kind of post about the same thing, um, but they're all special in their own way. Lastly, I want to shout out Rachel Lately. She posts a bunch of really, really hilarious Austin memes. And I feel like no other account like actually like creates their custom memes like her. She also posts about food and kind of everything about Austin. So definitely go check those Instagram pages out. I will try to have them all linked below. So if you guys are new to Austin or if you've lived here and you're just like kind of stuck in your bubble and you want to find more free things to do, just like things to do in general, follow them. And of course, follow me. I post a lot of Austin recs. I have a ton of Instagram highlights filled with Austin food recs and like things to do and just things to see around the city. So again, whether you're moving here, whether you're visiting, whether you live here, give all of us a follow and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Bye.